What's up guys, welcome to 2007 Iron Man progress video number 5. We're going to start this video off by speaking to the cook. We're going to do the first part of Recipe for a Disaster. There we go. One quest point and we get to go watch the feast. Let's go. Alright, let's inspect the dwarf. I'm just about to finish the dwarf part of Recipe for Disaster. We got the Dwarven Rock Cake, and there we go. 1k Cooking and 1k Slayer, 1 Quest Point, and more of the Culinaro Mancer's Chest. Here we are, finishing the Goblin part of the quest. There we go. 1 Quest Point, 1k Cooking, 1k Crafting, and 1k Farming and more access to the chest. So that'll bring me up to nine farming. I haven't even used a farming run yet, so that's pretty nice. And I can now grow guams. And it brought my crafting up. Just decided to do Witch's Potion real quick, and one quest point, and 325 magic. All right. Here we go, Knight Sword is done. We got a ton of smithing XP and a quest point. I'm trying to knock out most of the uh, free to play quests right now, so I think I'm gonna do Black Knight's Fortress next. Just kidding, I actually decided to do Demon Slayer first, and I got like, what is that, 11 silver lights? I doubt I'm ever gonna need them, but might as well get them while I can. Black Knight's Fortress quest is now over. Three quest points, 2.5k cash. And I'm pretty much done with all of the free to play quests. I have, I think I have three left. I have Imp Catcher, I have Dragon Slayer, and I also have Shield of Arab. Is that right? Yeah, Dragon Slayer, Imp Catcher, and Shield of Arab. So I don't feel like doing Shield of Arab right now or Dragon Slayer. So I don't know what I'm going to do next. Here we are, just finishing Priest in Peril. Nice. One quest point and about 1.4k prayer. And now we can go to Canifus. So I think I'm going to get 40 agility real quick. I'm 39 right now. And I'm going to go to Canifus and do more agility. I want to try to get graceful as soon as I can because I think it'll help being able to run without the run depleting, so I think that's what I'm going to work on right now. I've been hard at work doing agility for the past four hours pretty much, and we finally hit 50 agility. I have 85 marks of grace, and I also have 41 in my bank, and we just got another one. So I definitely have enough for the top of graceful and the bottom of graceful. But I'm going a little bit more so I can get the hat. So I'll be back whenever I can buy the graceful that I want. Finally, after many hours of slaving away at agility, I have achieved 150 marks of grace. And I'm also 53 agility. So right now I'm going to buy some pieces of the graceful outfit. I'm going to buy the graceful hood, the graceful top, and the graceful legs. That is the perfect amount. Total that costs 150 and now we got a ton of weight reduction. So that's pretty good. I also need to go get some boots of lightness. I keep forgetting to do that. It's really easy to go get, so I'm just gonna grab a bunch of them whenever I go. Uh, I'm actually gonna go get 60 agility. I'm gonna slave away some more. I'm gonna go to the wilderness course, actually. So I wanna get 60 for the ecumenical keys because they out for about 63k something around there so you need either 60 agility or 60 strength to get into the dungeon so I think 60 agility will actually come in handy later so I'm just gonna do that right away 60 strength will come later but I think this is a good investment too 
Well, we're almost done with agility. We are finally finished. 60 agility is about to be achieved. I actually don't have any food left and I am really close to low HP, so I'm glad I got this now. I uh, don't think I could have stayed here that much longer. So there we go, 60 agility is finally done. Now we can go to the God Wars dungeon in the wilderness and get some ecumenical keys. So I just killed myself at the agility course and I spawned back at Lumbridge. And we just got the mysterious old man maze random. So of course we're gonna do it. This thing can give amazing rewards. So I'm gonna do this and see what my reward is. Well, this may have been one of the fastest mazes I've ever done. Let's see, we got 74% of the reward left. So let's hope we get something fantastic. We got 68 death runes, six nature runes, and 102 steel arrows. That's pretty good. The death runes are really amazing, actually. So I'm back at Lava Dragons because I realized that I only have 51 magic and I need 52 magic so I can boost up with the wizard mind bomb to 55 magic and high out if I want to make doing the ecumenical keys profitable at all. So I'm gonna try to get some more drops and get my magic up while I'm here. Well that was probably one of the worst lava dragon trips I've ever had. I only got two kills. Lava runes aren't that bad. Blood runes are eh. I don't really need them but I actually had to hop worlds at least six times during that trip. Like I would start killing a dragon, some dude would come, I would log out, I would hop worlds, log in, start killing the dragon, another dude would come. It wouldn't be the same guy because I had private off so they couldn't like track me, but it would just be different PKers every time and it just got really annoying. So at least I didn't die, but hopefully next trip goes a little better. I'm also about 4k off of 52 magic, so. It's approaching Halloween, which means the annual Halloween event. So let's do it. Just finished the Halloween event, and these are the rewards. So I also made a quick guide on the event. I'll put an annotation on the screen right now. If you guys want to watch it, you can watch it. It's only like 10 minutes long, but it explains how to do everything. And... Old Skeleton Spooky. Alright, so I thought I'd do something a little different. Instead of selling the stuff to the general store for money, I'm actually going to test this. This is the Fountain of Rune, which means that you just get unlimited runes here. So I'm going to drink a Wizard's Mind Bomb and high alk my stuff. Hopefully, I don't die here because I know a lot of people like log in and kill you. So I'm going to have to watch myself. Um, I'll just alk everything in my inventory. I didn't take everything from the Lava Dragons, but I did take a good amount of the like useless stuff. Like I'm still keeping like my rune full helm and rune uh, med helm and just stuff like that I'm keeping in case you need it for clues and stuff. But I'll alk this stuff, so I'll be back whenever I have all this out. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? Someone logged in as soon as I got done. Alright, cool. Let's see if I can get away. Can I get away? Please get away. Get away, 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 get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Run away! Run away! You can do it! Come on! Log out, log out. Yes! I made it! Wow. Alright. That was amazing. I can't believe that happened. So I'm gonna log back in real quick and try to make it back alive. Alright, let's do this. We are alive. We just escaped the PK -er. and let's try to make it back. We got almost 9k out of that stuff so it's not the best money but it will buy me some more runes so that's good enough for me. Well, we're in the clear. We made it back to the mage bank with our cash. Still can't believe we didn't die. And someone's there, so I gotta log out again. 
Uh, I'll be back. All right, hopefully there's no one here. Good, all right. Get out of the wilderness. We gotta buy more runes. And I only used two of the wizard mind bombs. I wasn't sure how fast I could out them, so I just brought three, but it's a good thing we only used two. I, I think I have another one in the bank, so I'm gonna buy some more runes. So I only have 54 air runes. Um, and I have 12k cash pretty much. So I'm gonna buy some more air runes and a few more mind runes. What are you doing back here? You're hiding from me, aren't you? Alright, how many do I have now? So, 750, pretty much. 1500. Alright, I have a good amount of runes now, and I have a little bit of cash left. So that works. Sweet. I just completed the Molly random, which is like the claw machine random where you have to catch your evil twin. And I just got two uncut diamonds. Also, I'm going to be here collecting the uh, stuff to make molten glass. So, yeah, that'll take a while. But at least I have my graceful, so my run won't deplete that fast. So I've been collecting my supplies for a little while. Uh, I'm trying to collect buckets of sand, soda ash, and I'm also grabbing the pineapples while I'm here. Because they will come in handy whenever I start farming to make super compost. So I'm going to keep collecting these and then I'll show you my final total of items when I'm done. I just used up all of my cash. I literally have one coin left and let's see how much stuff we have. So we have about 350 pineapple, almost 300 buckets of sand, and a little over 300 soda ash. So I'm going to use this soda ash to get my crafting up. The pineapples are for when I start farming so I can make super compost. So I'm glad I did that. That didn't take too long to buy all the stuff. It was kind of annoying because a few other people were buying it at the same time as me. So I kept hopping around trying to find open worlds. But at least it's done now. So now I'm collecting planks. Uh, I need a bunch of them for construction. And this is probably the fastest method to get them. I also need them for a few quests. I need three for the observatory quest, and I also need a few for Dragon Slayer. So I'm getting them now. Uh, I'm not going to use them right now, but whenever I decide to get my construction up, I can eventually use them. So if you don't know where I am, I'm in Port Cazard right here. Port Cazard is right here. I'm right next to the little uh, pot icon, and that's right next to Fight Arena, which is close to the tree gnome village so all you have to do is run on either side of this tree and there are two plank spawns and then you just keep hopping worlds and also over here there is a bank deposit box so you can just throw all the bank uh, all the planks in your bank so this is probably the fastest method to get planks right now um, also you don't have to go to the sawmill and pay to make planks you can just pick them up right here so I'll be doing this for a while get a bunch of planks get my construction up and do the quests that I need to use the planks for. I just finished gathering all the planks and let's see how many we have. We got 1,008. That is terrific. I didn't even try to do that. I just stopped whenever I felt like I had enough and I stopped just above 1,000. So that's fantastic. I'm gonna use a few of them for a few quests like Observatory Quest and Dragon Slayer. So I'm going to go do observatory quest, but first I need to go use this stuff to make the molten glass because I need some molten glass for the observatory quest. So I'll be back whenever I have all this made. I'm almost done with the buckets of sand and soda ash, and we are about to get a level right here. So 24 crafting. We started at 11 crafting, and this brought us up to 24 crafting, so that's pretty good. It was none of those. It was Libra. That's exactly it. Woohoo! Libra. And we get three law runes, a sapphire, and 2,250 crafting and two quest points. Very nice. 26 crafting, and now we can craft oil lanterns. Awesome. We are now talking to the spirit of Scorpius, and... 
we need to get an unholy mold. There we go. So now let's go make an unholy symbol. Okay, so I made a few unpowered symbols, so let's get these powered up. Uh, I have come to seek a blessing. Uh, okay, so he made one. Uh, let's do all of them, because I feel like whenever I'm doing the uh, God Wars dungeon, I'm going to die a few times, so I want to get a few of them. So I'm just going to do this whole inventory and then hopefully go to the God Wars dungeon and get some ecumenical keys. Okay, so I'm in the wilderness. I got my unholy symbol and I got monk robes. And we're going to go in to the wilderness God Wars dungeon to try to get some ecumenical keys. So this is the first time I've ever been here. <laughs> Wish me luck. I kind of know where to go so you don't like get attacked by everything but anything that can go wrong probably will so I think as soon as I go in here I'm gonna get like slaughtered by a bunch of bandos things so I need to run northwest so yeah let's run try to eat and I think like right around here is where you gotta go just kill the imps so hopefully this is good hopefully I don't get attacked by a bunch of other things and we can get some keys so I will see you guys whenever something happens give me a key now yes we finally got it we got the yellow bead I'm pretty sure that's the last bead we need to complete imp catcher very nice Oh my god, we finally got it. Here is the ecumenical key. About time. So I'm going to use the rest of my runes and then alk this and go buy more runes. I'm also just under 8k to 53. Hey, we got another one and we're just about out of runes. So. I think that's good enough for this trip. Let's go out these bad boys. Alright, very nice. So we got a few mind talismans. And we completed our bead set. Uh, I'm just going to throw this up here. Swap around a few runes, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'll fix this later, but. Whenever we uh, eventually go turn these in, I'll put all my runes back where they need to go. So, let's get... Where's my wizard's mind bomb? There it is. We got a wizard's mind bomb left. Two nature runes I use. And... We gotta drink it first, dude. Alright. We got one ecumenical key. Yes, Alkit. And two ecumenical keys. Yes, Alkit. So now, my magic level is not high enough. What? Did that go down that fast? I just drank that. Why'd you go down so fast? Alright, well, I just alked one, because apparently my wizard's mind bomb ended in like two seconds. So I'm going to go buy more runes, and I'm going to go buy a few more wizard's mind bombs. So I'll be back. So I'm just buying a bunch of law runes. I think 200 is plenty good enough for now. And I'm also going to buy some more air runes and mine runes. I also realized I should probably just buy the cosmic rune as it's here because I need it to enchant things eventually. So instead of like, I'm probably going to have to rune craft them eventually anyways, but I might as well just buy them right now while I can. There's only one in each shop, but I usually hop around to buy more air runes and mine runes. So while I'm here, I'm just going to buy the cosmic if there is one. There usually is just one. There we go. And a ton of runes. Nice. A little bit of failing in, in the clicking there, but whatever. Alright, I think that's good enough 
I bought 4,000 air runes, 2,000 mine runes, 200 laws, and a few cosmics. I actually hopped around and some of the shops had seven, so I just bought them all out. So that's enough for now. If whenever I start enchanting, like, jewelry and stuff, if I need more, I'll just come back and get more. So now let's buy some wizard's mind bombs. I should probably buy a bunch of them because I'm not really close to 55 magic yet. I mean, I'm getting up there, but I'm just gonna buy a bunch of them because I'm gonna be doing ecumenical keys for a while trying to get a, a pretty big cash stack. So I'll just buy probably like a full inventory right now. That should last me pretty long. So this actually wasn't that painful. I mean, I pretty much got the clicking pattern down pretty fast, so it doesn't take that long to buy these things. You just gotta know where to click. And last one. And pretty much just spam clicking. So we got a full inventory. Uh, let's go get the ecumenical key out of our bank. Why can't I run? What the heck's going on? All right, that was weird. My run was definitely toggled on, but it wasn't letting me. So, let's throw these in there. Take one out, give me the key, give me that. Drink that, and, what? Oh, I don't have any nature runes on me. I'm dumb, all right, there we go. Alk, thank you. I would love to alk you and get 61.5K extra. Well, thank you very much. So, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to go cash these in and get the uh, Imp Catcher quest done. So, I'll be right there. Alright, let's talk to Mizgog. Give me a quest. Please. <laughs> Alright. Let's go get the beads. Hey, we're back with the beads. <laughs> And a nice little cutscene with Mizgog. And there we go. One quest point, 875 magic, and an amulet of accuracy. So let's wear this bad boy. Nice. Go buy more runes. I need more nature runes. So I realized that I need nature runes to alk the ecumenical keys, but I can't buy nature runes from anywhere because you need like, what is it, 60 or 65 magic to get into the wizard's guild, and that's the only place that you can buy them. So I need to get my thieving up, I need to get 28 thieving, I'm 24 right now, to uh, loot the upstairs chest in Ardone, and you get nature runes from that, so I'm going to get my thieving up real quick and try to get some nature runes out of that. Eventually, whenever I get high enough magic, I'll just buy nature runes, but this is pretty much my only solution for it right now. So I'll be back whenever I have the thieving level to get some nature runes. Okay, so we just got 28 thieving, and this is actually really easy to get nature runes. You just disable the trap, open the chest, get a nature rune and three coins, and then instead of like waiting for that to respawn, I'm just going to hop worlds. I don't know if it's faster, but it seems like it's faster. I think it might be like 5 seconds faster, because I think it takes about 10 seconds for each chest to respawn with nature runes, so hopping worlds will just make it a little faster. So I'm going to grab a bunch of nature runes. So after testing this for a while, I can without a doubt say that Hopping Worlds is definitely faster. Would you just look at this? Look how fast this is. Okay, so you right click, search for trap. You wait about three seconds, and then as soon as he opens the thing, you just click on the world select, hop to the next world, and do it all over again. You don't have to wait for anything, just the initial waiting when you're opening the chest. And then as soon as you see the XP drop, you can just hop worlds and get a ton of nature runes. I've only been doing this for about like five, maybe closer to ten minutes. I haven't really been keeping track, but it's insane how fast this is. I might just stay here for a while and get like a hundred nature runes. So you also get 25 XP per looting, so it's not bad thieving XP either. Plus you're just getting a ton of nature runes. The coins don't really matter because they're just coins, but 
the nature is really, really helpful. So I'm going to be doing this for a little while longer. Actually, another tip I just noticed that, as you can see, whenever you, as soon as you see the you open the chest prompt right here, you can just hop. You don't even have to wait for the XP to drop. It'll just come as soon as you open the chest. So you open the chest, immediately hop worlds, and you'll still get the XP and the nature rune. So that just makes this so much faster that I highly recommend doing this if you if you just want to get like a buttload of nature runes. So like I said, I'm gonna do this until I get about a hundred, and then I'm probably gonna go back to uh, get some more ecumenical keys. So one more thing I forgot to tell you is that if you accidentally misclick and click open instead of search for traps, you actually get hit. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just something for you to be aware about. So if you accidentally click open, you'll get hit like, depending on your health, you'll get hit. I've been hit a seven, so as my health's going lower, it's going lower and lower. The, the hit that you get hit, I just got a hit by a five there. but. You shouldn't really misclick that much. It's not that hard to just click search for traps. So, almost got a hundred of these. But I think this is going to be the end of the episode. This episode's pretty long, and I made a ton of progress. So, I'd like everyone to look down there, look at the two little thumbs up and thumbs down. If you think this episode helped you at all, please click the thumbs up. It really makes a difference, and I really appreciate it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Like I said, if you did, please click that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. I really appreciate every viewer I get. And I just like making these just to help everyone. So thank you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys next time. 